Oregon is a game with grids. It is an easy game to learn and an easy game to teach and it doesn't take very long to do either. It is a game about taking a wild space where there aren't any grids and putting a grid over that wild space in order to put things in the squares of the grid in order to get points. The things that move, the things that are in transition, the things that are living or wild in this game are not used to be things that move or things that are in transition or things to be wild. They are used to plot points on the grid. This is done with cards. If I take two cards on my turn, say a wagon and an eagle, I can take a farmer and place it anywhere where the wagon and eagle intersect. There are two rectangles where the wagon and eagle intersect. One here and one here. Each of these rectangles has a grid of six spaces. I may put my farmer in one of those spaces. I do this to get points. A farmer may not score points alone, however. The farmer needs at least two other farmers or a building nearby in order to get points. Different buildings give you points in different ways. The coal mine gives you a chip that has a secret amount of points that you reveal and score at the end of the game. All of them share the commonality that they need a farmer adjacent to them in order to score points. You may score points by placing a farmer or by placing a building next to a farmer. As the game goes on, the grid fills up until a player runs out of farmers to place on the board or until the building supply has dwindled to a sufficient point. Players will likely look back on the game and find that they enjoyed a nice low stress competition with their friends, acquaintances, loved ones, whoever they happen to be playing with. They will be grateful for the grid, grateful for how it limited their options and allowed them to focus on the importance of scoring points during their brief time settling and inhabiting Oregon.